Thanks for sticking with us here on Adelante Chicago. Well, it is known as one of the most beautiful butterflies in America with its orange and black wings, but the monarch butterfly is now on the endangered list, on the red list. There are ways you can help, though, and a little village organization wants to make sure you know all about it and that you can help. Joining us now to explain are Len Dominguez and Pam Brockman with the Rotary Club Chicago of Little Village. Welcome to the both of you. Nice to have you. Thank you, Thank you so Great to much, be here. Lourdes. It's okay. really an honor to to be here with you. It's an honor for me for, to have you here, so thank you. Uh, I want to start with the monarch butterflies. If people haven't heard, they're now on the endangered list. And explain uh, how this happened, how much do we know about uh, what their future is like? Well, um, what happened recently that, was, that mm -hmm. came in the news was that the International uh, Union of uh, Conservation of Nature, which is an organization of nonprofits and uh, for-profit organization based in Switzerland. Wow. They okay. study um, conservation of nature and they have decided that the monarch butterfly is endangered. But the thing is, is in the United States we have another organization called the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And when they determine that uh, an animal or plant is endangered, then then they list that either it's threatened or endangered. There's two levels. There, um, there's a lot of money that goes behind that. So the IUCN's uh, determination, while warranted and and everyone is grateful for, yeah. and it's good to raise raise awareness about mm -hmm. that. Um, there's really no money behind it. So. Um, uh, and what is, yeah, I would imagine that's why organizations like you become so essential and instrumental in saving the monarch butterflies. But I'm wondering how Little Village becomes a key, you know, player in all of this in well, trying to get this done. First of all, let me say that notwithstanding the conflict, international, national, mm -hmm. they are endangered. Right. Two for two reasons: the habitat, both along the way in the United States because of all the pesticides and, and the, the diminishing habitat for butterflies in general, bees of course, uh, in the United States. And also the forest where these particular butter, monarch butterflies winter. They winter in a little forest in Michoacan called El Rosario Santuario, the sanctuary of El Rosario. So both habitats, their, their trees are being denuded there. And here, all the flowers and things that they feed on are being lost. Okay. So our little club is now part of an international effort starting in Canada for a train will be bringing 60,000 trees to be planted in Rosario, in the habitat in, in Mexico. Mexico. And all along the way, Rotary International, all Rotary clubs in between, will be planting pollinator gardens to plant more flowers of specific kind for the monarchs and other birds and bees and other pollinators. We call them pollinator gardens. Every water club is behind this. Now, Little Village has a wonderful role because the, the train will be coming through here in just in time for our uh, 26th Street Parade, Independence Parade. So that's in just a couple of months. And yeah. our, September 11th. We have a partnership with Little Village Chamber of Commerce to have our float, which is a, an ancient and antique uh, uh, fire truck, decorated with monarchs. They will announce the project. We're going to pass out seeds to the crowd so that the yeah. community can get involved starting their own gardens. And, and I'm looking at a garden right now. We got video of one. Oh. I believe this is in Pilsen. Yes, this and is And the Alpha Rotary Lord. Club has actually uh, helped in, in putting this garden together. And explain how this will help. Okay. Well, this is a beautiful Rotary garden. I, actually, this is a beautiful garden that El Valor started 20 years ago. And what's so significant about this garden is that they, um, the staff, um, harvest the eggs and they raise the caterpillars at home and then every year and this year what will be September 9th they're going to release the butterflies this garden is the um, garden that we planted and that is in front of Mujeres Latinas en Acción and that's in uh, Pilsen 
Yeah, and Pilsen that, as well. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, so, so is the idea that you're looking for locations and spots of where, you know, you may be able to plant more of these gardens, or how are you looking to work with individuals and organizations? We would like to support that, too, and we would also like to inspire individuals and organizations to plant their own gardens. And uh, we're going to, at the Little Village Parade, we're going to be handing out seeds, milkweed seeds, as Len said. Yeah. The milkweed is the only plant that they use, that they feed on, the, the monarch butterfly. And um, it gives them the stamina to, um, and it, it also protects them because it makes them taste very bitter. So a lot of predators don't like to, to eat them because they, they taste very bitter. But that, you know, stay that away from those guys. They're yeah. <laughs> about something. We don't know what they're bitter You know about. what's so great about this project is, and Len, you could probably address this and talk about this, that it helps bring an entire community together, not just here in Chicago, but even, as you mentioned, in Mexico, in Canada. Talk about that, that's, what that experience has been like in connecting people. This is an international project, mm -hmm. and we're working with, it'll be going through Mexico. There's a Rotary Club in Monterrey, Mexico is taking charge. Once the train gets there, they'll make sure that it gets all the way through to El Rosario Santuario in Michoacan. And Rotary Clubs along the way will be participating and helping raise more funds, so hopefully more trees. The initial, uh, the initial goal is 60,000 trees. Well, if we can raise more money, we can get 100,000 trees. Because basically that's the key right now is work on both habitats, pollinator gardens all over the U.S., not just along the train route, mm -hmm. but that's key, the train route. But all other around the United States, because monarchs come from the eastern seaboard too, all the way, not just the central part. But the central uh, corridor, they call it, is key mm -hmm. for all the pollinator gardens. So we're all, we're all the Rotary districts, we're part of 6450, the yeah. birthplace of Rotary. We want to do a great job because it's stopping right here in time for our parade, gives it high visibility about the project to yeah. the whole area. And you're even tying it to the Dia de los Muertos, right? Doesn't yeah, it end? we have another project that we're working on right now. It'll be something like a, a butterfly bingo that we're going to involve <laughs> school kids in. Butterfly and, bingo, okay. And um, then we'll celebrate then on, um, it'll, I think on the Dia train is going to arrive around on that a little day. after yeah. that, okay. November 5th. So if folks want to get a little bit more information about the project, about the Rotary Club, you've got a Facebook page set up so they can do a search for Little Village Rotary uh, Chicago and you'll find all the information about the monarch butterflies and some of the projects that they're working on.